All right. Hello everybody, Some Race Extremes here, bringing you guys yet again another video. So today I'm going to be starting a new series on the channel called Simulator Car Reviews, where I go into any racing sim I pretty much own and review a car. So we're going to start things off with the first episode in the series with the KTM Crossbow R. It was, man it was manufactured by KTM in 2015 in Austria. It is a rear-wheel drive mid-straight 4, top speed 144 miles per hour, got 300 horsepower, Acceleration 0 to 100, 3.9 seconds, braking 100 to 0, 3.21, weight uh, 1741 pounds, so a very light vehicle. Um, torque is 295 uh, foot pounds of torque, uh, its balance is 63 over 37, uh, and the wheelbase is 2.43. So I'm actually going to go into my calculator here and figure out what the power to weight ratio is. So 300 divided by 1741. Yeah, it's about right, I think. So I think we're getting 0.17 pounds of horsepower, or for every horsepower, no, for every pound. You know what, I think I'm doing it the wrong way. 1741 divided by 300. We're getting, for every 5.8 pounds, we are getting one horsepower out of it. Not that bad power weight ratio. Yeah, we're here taking on the California Highway Full on track. On my stream preview that will actually lag me out a bit. But yeah, we got a really cool webcam set up. I'm using my small stream monopod for my GoPro. We put an iPhone on it, then I tighten my webcam on there, so pretty cool view. Uh so yeah. Let's uh, actually watch in here. Uh, this car is a manual shift, so you gotta use the H pattern. Um so turn it off, let's turn Alright, so I'm gonna look on the physical review here. So, pretty cool front end. Very basic sides you got, really nothing. The rear end, really nothing. That special except for that weird little spoiler, the red spoiler. Um, so yeah, but I did read some stuff that this car was designed like a like a motorcycle because KTM makes motorcycles and they make like dirt bikes and stuff. But anyways, enough talk. Not time to drive this thing. When we're revving, making about 100 horsepower. Gotta get into that turbo. I'm guessing it's, it's turbocharged, so. Oh, well, let's go into this mode here. Alright, so it's. Here. Uh, just gonna kinda drive it slow, tell you what I'm feeling. Uh, I mean, the car feels a little bit loose. It wants to slide away a little bit, even at lower speeds. Alright. Turn this thing up, see how fast we can get it here. Definitely got good acceleration. Oh, that's, that's a little bit of a wall there. There's some speed. So come out to the turn, we're gonna get a little bit loose through there. No big deal. Or definitely doesn't have that much grip, it definitely wants to slide. It's a six speed, and it is a very loose six speed. I mean force feedback wise, it does feel it doesn't really feel different than it, because uh, everyone has different force feedback setting, but what I'm feeling is it's definitely a little bit on the rough side. It's a bit harder to turn than most other cars, but it is, uh, it's fun to drive though. It doesn't take a lot of effort, but it does want to slide around a bit, but when I do slide, I do get, I can save the car really easily. Alright, so while we're driving, I kind of want to talk about this series and explain a little bit what's it all about. So basically what I do is I grab a car, probably for the first few episodes I'm going to be grabbing a car, but uh, in the comments you can always just put your car track combo, what sim you want. Oh, got a little bit of air there. But these sims that I have, I have a set of Corsa Project Cars, iRacing. Those are the three big ones I got. Um, 
it was for a Soto Corsa, um, just tell me the mod, help with the track, and I'll grab it, review on it. But I think for the first few episodes, I don't think I'm going to get a lot of recommendations for what car I should do next. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to pick a few random cars for the first few episodes, then eventually start leaving comments, and hopefully we can get this kind of a weekly type of series, or a daily type of series, or whatever. Because I mean, the videos aren't really going to be hard for me to make, I'm just going to kind of record to tell, tell you what I'm feeling, and read out some specs, and uh... It's nothing too fancy, just kind of a, almost like a, I don't know, I want to say it's like a, like the slash drive, they kind of just drive the car, they don't really edit it, talk about it. Uh, so just one clip, stuff like that, so it'll be pretty cool. Um, probably for the first few episodes, I'm going to upload them every, like, once a week or so, uh, until, so if you want to see more, then I'll do more. Uh, anyways, getting back to driving, the car is feeling pretty good. Look at our temps. Temps aren't that bad, we're not really using a lot of power, but... Pulling about, oh, we're pulling about two Gs in the turn. Around there. This car will throw you around a lot. I want a third person here, see what we're looking at. sound very cool. Oh, getting a bit slippy loose through there. Brakes on. Clutch in. We'll feed in. I do have the handbrake enabled right on this button. Right here, the bottom left button. I'm not sure you'll, you're able to see that, but this button right here, I have a handbrake, so we, we, we may try to drift it. See how it slides. It's having a lot of fun with this car. Pretty big section right here, see how fast we can get this thing up to. That's about 120, I think I saw. But definitely, we have a lot of acceleration. It, it said it only goes 130 miles per hour, so, I mean, good acceleration, but not the greatest speed in the world. Right here, we'll be able to open it up, because we're coming almost onto the highway section. See how fast we get this crossbow up to. A little bit shaky through there. Down shift. And brake. Alright. Over up, see how fast we, we can get this thing up to. Up our telemetry, see how much horsepower we're making. Up into sixth gear. Well, I mean, it lied. It said we, we can only go 133, but we are going 140. Can we hit 150? Come on. Come on, 45. 43. Down the hill. I don't know if we'll be able to hit 150 on this one, guys, because we're going to need to break soon. It's a big braking zone. I might carry through too much speed down this exit ramp. Alright, let's open her up again. That's the speed. Went up through the gears, but it really seems like the acceleration really slows down once you're in 5th and 6th gear. Because when you're in the other gears, it just flies up to the speed, and not really that much in uh, the first four gears or so. Oh, don't you can drive off road. So another thing we could do a car review on is Dirt Rally as well, I have that, but I mean, it's just kind of all rally cars, so I don't really know. Alright, let's open her up, big time. The gears, I know we're going to get a lot of air coming up here, let's just see how much we're going to get. Take a deep breath. A little bit. On the fourth through here. 
A little bit loose. Ah, too loose. Yeah, but the car definitely... I can see how it's considered it can be a street car. It's more of a street car than a race car just because I don't think it has racing tires on it. I mean, if they had some more racing tires, maybe some more downforce might be a little bit easier. But overall, the car is very fun to drive even though it's extremely loose through the turns. There it is again, getting sideways as well as getting sideways on there. Again, we're still going to try to drift it. If I can find a spot to drift it because we're coming close to the other tracks to try to drift it here. Let's little bend here. Let's see what happens. Much of a drift. I'm up to the final section. I drifted again at the top of the hill. I don't know how cars like to drift uphill, but yeah, they don't like to slide. That's sliding a little bit too much. Alright, eh, it's not, not that bad. Those cones. Alright, coming up through the line for the final time. Watch over the lanes. Put into sixth gear, let's hold her open, see how much speed we can get through going here. 40, 42, 43. We hit 150. We got enough power. Went up to the line. And there it is. So nine minute point five or nine minute and five seconds. So very good run, solid run. You out of here. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this first episode of Sim Car Review. Um, anyways, guys, uh, subscribe if you want to see more because there's going to be a lot more of these coming out, I think, because they're kind of fun to make. It's just, I, I just sit on it, talk, and I'm good. All right, see you guys later.